Hey, what's up everybody? It's Velar. Hope you are doing well. Um, I've got 41 ancient shards to summon, so we're going to see what happens with them. You know, I'm hoping for the usual suspects that everybody needs. Bad Elkazar, Martyr, Valkyrie, um, Vizier, all that stuff. Uh, but who knows what we're going to get. Uh, we're going to alternate back and forth between the 10 pulls and the single pulls here. All right, so I'm going to do a bunch of single pulls. Gladiator. Uh, let's see. All righty. Oh, oh, hey. And, <laughs> oh, an epic right off the bat. It looks like... <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I didn't need to fuse her at all, huh? I, I actually didn't fuse her because I've pulled her before, but uh, I think the fusion either just ended or is about to end or something, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so she can be one of the 38 books that she takes. <laughs> okay. But, hey. Epic right off the bat on the second shard. We'll take it, right? I'll take anything, epic or legendary, but 41 food. You know, I come in these things always expecting it's going to be completely just food, just complete trash you're going to get most of the time uh, that you're just going to feed. All right, come on. Come on. Let's see something, you know, something that's actually somewhat entertaining, right? Let's see. Grandmaster, oh, if you if you are going to go for Sir Nick and he does come back, you want to keep Grandmaster. Uh, this Actually, this girl I used to use a lot in early clan boss. Uh, I think it's because of not that one, but she does have a 5% poison when, when uh, and each hit has a 35% chance of placing that poison. It's a three-hitter. It's this one, yeah. Attacks one enemy with two random allies. Allies joining the attack use their default skills. So she's nowhere near as good. But uh, she's like a super mini long beard because uh, she only calls two people in. But if somehow they can be the three hitters too, you can proc some giant slayers with her too. So she's not bad. Uh, she's never going to be an end game clan boss person. But, you know, early to mid game, kind of cool. I like her. Granted, I am kind of, uh, I, I don't know, high elves are my favorite faction. So <laughs> that, that might, I might be kind of biased there too. Temptress. This is the one that pairs with Seducer. I'm just trying to remember. I don't remember if it is. Well, it doesn't show up in her kit, I don't think. Okay, maybe it only shows up in his, her, his kit. Who cares? All right. Let's see. Man, nothing doing here. Uh, this this guy in a uh, spike, <laughs> spike head and torture helm look almost the same. And there's the guy that looks like Altan. All right. All right, after these couple more, we'll do a 10-pull. Dwarf. Grumbler. Grumpy old grumbler. Okay. Well, nothing much there. All right. Yeah, yeah, I don't need that. All right. We've got 30 more shards left, so what, two 10-pulls and a round of singles here. Let's see what we get. All right. I mean, this is pretty underwhelming so far. Nothing much. Nothing much exciting at all going on here. All right, we'll go back to single pulls. I used to be the biggest believer in 10 pulls because I pulled all my legendaries out of 10 pulls. Now I haven't pulled a legendary out of a 10 pull in forever. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. So <laughs> we get Alika. And now we get Gorgorab, which I already have a maxed out Gorgorab. Actually, I love Gorgorab. I think he's an awesome character. Uh, but if you have Arbor, you just plain old don't need him. Uh, but he's got the remove 50% chance of removing one random buff on his A1. This is a great ability here. Fill in the turn meter of all allies by 15% and places an increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. And then also revives any dead allies with 25% HP, then heals all allies by 25% on a five turn cooldown. And the speed aura and arena. But Arbiter does all that so much better. The other thing I will say though is Gorgrab's not just an arena hero. I used him actually early because I didn't have any other champions and clan boss and stuff. He actually did help there uh, because he would res my team. And I, I swear if I ran Gorgrab, my, my damage would be close to double. 
Now, this is back in the days where I was probably just only able to hit hard, actually. It wasn't like any end game, but he, he helped me everywhere. So I do like Gorgorab, but it's kind of funny. I pull Lika after the fusion ends, and, and I pull this guy after his 10 times, uh, uh, whatever that thing was with the sacred, 10, 10 times more chance to pull Gorgorabs. Oh, man. <laughs> I had like only what, like a 1% chance to pull a Gorgor, 1.5% chance overall in the game to pull a Gorgorab right there. And you get a Gorgorab. <laughs> oh, why not give me something better than that right now? Nah, at least it's funny. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's, <laughs> this is the one girl that I wasted when I was brand new. I wasted all my rare books on her because I thought she was going to be so cool. But no, she's okay for like the very first part of the game. But that's about it. <laughs> oh, man. These are these are brutal. These summons are just brutal. I am gonna be done summoning for a while. All right, let's do this quick. We'll do the ten pull, and then and then we'll end the video. All right, watch me get another Astrolith. I'll get a Legendary, but it'll be Astrolith. I've gotten her three or four times, actually. All right, here we go. Let's see. Diabolist. There's Hyria again. Okay. Boy, that was rough. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was fun. But, uh, well, not really. <laughs> not that fun. But anyway, I hope you guys made it this far. If you did, throw a like. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when I publish new videos. Thanks very much for hanging out. Cheers.